Okay, so when you first get into bushcrafting, there's a lot of gear overload about multi-use items, like the Leatherman multi-tools or the little pocket survival, little credit card survival things that have 18 different tools in them or, you know, our, our nice little dollar store cutlery set that you can take the fork off and use as a fork or you can use it as a frog gig or, or you can comb your hair with it and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is taking an assessment of your gear and finding the best possible uses for every piece of gear that you have. And now we're going to talk about something just as simple as a Zippo lighter. This is a Zippo lighter that I've had for about 20 years. I know, all my stuff is old. My Zippo's old, my tent's old, I'm old. But back to the matter at hand, something as simple as a Zippo lighter, you know, think about the best uses for this item. Now, you know, and this is my old Budweiser Zippo. Eh, it would figure. So with a Zippo, you got a couple of advantages over the Bic. Everybody loves the Bic lighter because the Bic, you flip it and there's a fire. Okay, but what do you got to do on that big? You have to hold down the little trigger to keep it on. Okay, and on the Zippo, you flip it once, and this sucker's lit. Okay, now the advantage that you have with the Zippo is you almost can't blow it out. You have to close the cover to put it out. Also, on the bottom of the Zippo, this is one solid piece of metal or aluminum or whatever they build it out of. So you could actually set this on the wet ground. You could set this up in water up to maybe a half an inch up the Zippo lighter and your Zippo is still going to light. Now you can take this lighter and you can set it on the ground and it'll stay by itself and it'll stay lit. So now you have both hands to put some tinder on the top or some sticks or twigs and everything else and get your fire started even on wet ground. So I'm going to show you what we're talking about right now. So we're going to assume all this is, is wet wood. We got our Zippo. You know, we just put a couple little piles here. We're going to light our Zippo. We're just going to lean it up against one of these piles. And now we're just going to start putting sticks across. Okay. A few at a time here. because that's going to stay lit and allow us to get this fire going. Without having to hold that plunger down on the big lighter, which is pretty nice. And as soon as this gets established, we can pull our Zippo out of there. All right. Pulling our lighter out. Get our fire going. And that will, and eventually that will go and your fire's above the water. Now, we're almost up to weenie roasting time. Okay. Now we got a fire, our fire's is, is starting to get established and it's up off of the wet ground. Okay, so that's a really good use for our good old trusty Zippo lighter. You probably got one of these laying around the garage. If not, your daddy's got one, your mama's got one, your grandmama's got one that she lights her cigars with. And remember, all you got to do is flip it and it's going to stay lit until you put that cap on there. There's one good idea to help you make your fire and help you maximize the resources that you have. This is Matt from Florida Boy Survival and I'll see you on the trail.